What you guys got a video request from Zebedee. You can see here, disable Windows AI features in one click using Winstop. Now, Winstop is a third party unofficial utility designed to help users remove hidden bloatware and also AI related components in Windows 11. Now, we all know Windows 11 is bloated full of AI and other nasty stuff like forced ads. And this is where Winstop comes in. Now, Winstop has been created by a very popular script creator called uh, BLIM. You can see he's done Flyby 11 and a bunch of other applications. You see me show these on my channel many, many times. He's done some really good stuff here. And uh, this is another contribution to help you guys clean up your Windows 11 system. Now, remember, the information provided in this video is for education and entertainment purposes only. Any actions you take based on this video are strictly done at your own risk and decision. I'm not responsible for any loss of your data. Make sure you back up all your data and create restore points and always do your own research. Understand that changes will be made to your PC and can make your system unstable. So I'm going to extract this so you can see it. And again, it is quite a basic looking program, but it is quite a powerful program to remove a lot of the uh, unwanted uh, apps and components inside here. So let me just right click on Winslop here which is a terminology used by a lot of people uh, that are sick and tired of the actual slop that Windows is introducing into its operating system. And here it is right here. So Winslop is a native app that basically acts as a friendly front end, which is going to be running scripts in the background to remove a lot of this stuff. You can undo your last changes and you can load additional uh, slop feeds as well. And we can also see a bunch of other stuff on here as well. Now, this is probably uh, early access and they're going to probably be adding more stuff uh, to this later on. But you can see we've got Windows 11 25 H2 build, which is the very latest build. And we're going to be cleaning it up using this application. Now, Winget app updates, you can check mark this if you want to get the uh, Winget uh, feature to get download all the applications, which I'd advise you to do. And there's a bunch of options here, which I'm going to leave... Uh, check marked so speed up the shutdown time disable network throttling and a bunch of other things that might be useful to you just go through here and read all of the settings because i'm not going to go through all of them now microsoft edge as you would expect it's also going to de-bloat that if you want to keep edge on the system if you don't you can remove it but again it will sort of de-bloat edge with all of the uh, bloat that comes inside there so we're going to go through here and scroll through and take a look at some of the settings that he has here for this particular script and all of this stuff is pretty much useless to you and it's just going to harvest information and send it back to microsoft ui you can see here this is going to basically make some changes to the system like disable bing search and disable search box suggestions and so on a lot of the normal stuff that you would want to disable Next up, we've got the disable transparency effects and you can enable the dark mode for this app and also for uh, the system if you want to add dark mode to your computer. Gaming, this will disable game DVR, disable power throttling and disable visual effects as well. And then you're getting on to the privacy section, which is going to disable a lot of the privacy uh, settings like uh, activity history, location tracking and also privacy settings experience to sign in and turning off telemetry data collection. These are all the ad section. As you can see with Windows 11, it's fully bloated with loads of ads and it will disable all these, whether they're in the settings panel, the start menu, file explorer, and so on. They're listed everywhere right there. You can just check mark all of those. AI is really important to disable if you don't use it. Uh, there's lots of stuff here like turn off recall, which is a feature that takes screenshots of your system. Now, of course, you would need a Copilot Plus PC for that to work, uh, but you can disable it because the actual module is enabled on Windows 11 by default, but it is not screenshotting your system, but you might want to disable that anyway. Next, you've got plugins here. You can download Chris Titus Text app and a bunch of other things like Create Restore Point and a bunch of other settings here as well if you wanted to download and remove those from your computer i'd advise you to let these come down like onedrive and also other settings on here which will be changed if you download the script 
uh, in these checkmark boxes. Down the bottom here, you can see select an action right here. You can analyze logs online, which is recommended, and you can get the log after you've finished cleaning the PC and paste that log in. And I'll show you that quickly. There's no logs there right now, but I'll just quickly show you how that works so you can see it. So we'll just go and analyze it. We need to open up a web browser right here, and it will look something like this where you can paste in that log as well. And it will tell you how it works right there. I'm not going to cover this part in this video, but if you want to see extra uh, videos on that, then let me know in the comments section. So I've started to run Winslop here, and it's basically going to run through all of the settings that I've told it to do. And this will be doing it on a script based in the back end. So this is your uh, UI based or GUI based front end that we have here. But in the back end, it's doing it on a script, on a PowerShell script. So we'll just let that clean up the system right here. And you may see all of the settings change here because we set it to go to uh, dark mode. And it's now going to ask you permission to download uh, applications and scripts uh, through GitHub and through uh, Winget, I think. So I think this is Winget right here that we need to authorize it to download a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by typing yes. And this will allow us to download some of the uh, settings that it needs. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. And these are Microsoft Visual C++ files that are safe to download from Microsoft. And it's going to install these on the computer. So we're going to pull all these down and let them get installed on the PC. And once it's finished downloading all of these, you can see uh, Chris Titus Text Tool wants to download this plugin and allow it to run on the system. If you say yes, it's going to open up Chris Titus Text Tool uh, via the Winslop tool and you'll see it populate all of a sudden on the screen. And again, from here, you can download applications. So if you needed to download any other applications, you can do it right here. I'll quickly show you by downloading, say, for instance, Google Chrome. This is using, uh, I think, Winget to download these, and it will basically install them on the PC. So whatever you want to install, this is the section where you can download and install them from. And there's quite a few programs to choose from. So all you need to do is highlight what you want and then click Install Upgrade Applications right here, and it will download these and install them on this PC for us. Now I'm going to be downloading and installing Chrome here, but you can choose whatever browser you like because I'm going to be removing Edge. Now also on the tweak section right here, there's a bunch of tweaks which we can click on the standard one here. And that gets to a question that someone asked the other day in the comment section saying, is it safe to run multiple different uh, scripts on the system to tweak Windows? Well, there's not much point in doing that because also this has already been done. So all you're doing here is just repeating the same process over and over and you have a chance of breaking your system. Now I have checkmarked a bunch of ones that were not done, which is set services to manual, also disable edge and also uh, disable Microsoft Copilot, which I think was done on the last program, but we're just going to leave that checkmark there. Storage sense has been disabled and I also want to remove home from Explorer and the gallery uh, from Explorer as well. So I'm only doing very minor uh, tweaks here. I'm not doing all of them. And you'd need to understand what you're actually tweaking and what you're not tweaking because you don't want to re-tweak the whole system again once you've already done it. So I've done this and what I'm going to do next is there is a tool on here called ONO Shut Up 10. And you'll see there's a bunch of other options you can run here, which is a really good tool for telemetry and to stop a lot of this telemetry stuff. So you can either do local machine or current user, click actions here and do recommended, which is what I'm going to do here. The only thing I need to do after I've done the recommended section, which was in Amber, is to make sure I uncheck the microphone, otherwise you won't be able to use it. So I'm going to go to the settings panel inside here and just toggle on uh, the actual microphone or toggle off, I should say, because obviously we won't be able to use it. But there's also one for camera there as well. If you wanted to toggle the camera uh, back on so you can use your uh, webcam, otherwise it's not going to work. It will block it. So let me go ahead and that's now set. And all of the telemetry side of things should be taken care of with ONO Shut Up 10 plus plus, which of course works with Windows 10 which it was originally designed for, and they've customized it, and it also works with Windows 11. So I'm pretty much finished with ONO Shut Up 10 now, and I can close this off right here. And I will probably need to restart my PC, but I'm going to do that in a second. And I'm pretty much finished with 
Chris Titus text tool here, unless you want to tweak Windows updates, which you can do. So what's left to do? Well, we can go inside our settings panel right here and go into installed apps, and we can remove a bunch of uh, other stuff that you might not want. For instance, there's this Microsoft Bing here, which I'm going to deal with right now, and you can use this command here and it will get rid of that. And there's also one more thing I want to get rid of, which is Microsoft Edge, because I don't need it. And you might see some other applications in here that you want to get rid of. And you can click on the three dots and uninstall them. And it's pretty simple to do. And you can see I've left some stuff in here. But again, that's pretty much self-explanatory here. I've removed Edge and everything else from the system. And we're pretty much up and running. So you can choose what you want to remove on your PC because at the end of the day, everyone is different and everyone has different needs with their computer. So just read through all the instructions carefully before you just select all and remove, because there might be uh, features in there that you want to keep. But just make sure you understand that. And any little traces like this, you can just remove these and it's done. And you should have a pretty clean system. So Winslop is pretty decent. It's worth giving it a try if you're sick and tired of all of the AI and ads and all the other bloat that is inside Windows 11. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you've got a video request like Zebedee had, then obviously uh, leave them on the Discord server or in the comments. I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>